Before you jump to editing shorts on Kind Master, let's go into how to record them first. The reason I'm showing you this is that it's going to be so much easier for you to edit in Kind Master later. The first one, and something that you probably already know, you have to record the short in a vertical format. Because that's the only way it can end up in the YouTube short shelf, actually. Also, when you're recording, record a specific action and then cut the video. So just like this, I'm handing them my father the report card, I run, and then my father gets in the car. It's quick action. As you can see, all the clips are recorded separately, so they're all separate clips. Now, if you're editing on PC, I recommend you record it at once. But on Kind Master, it's more convenient to record in short clips. Before I go further into this video, let me give the two quick shoutouts. The movie trivia shoutout goes to Splash Boom. Yes, you're correct. The movie quote was from Kill Bill. Congrats on getting that right and shout out to you. The everyday fan shoutout goes to Rafiq Gaming. Thank you so much for being here every day on my channel and shout out to you. Now I'm going to jump to Kind Master, but before we do that, I'm going to give you a really important tip when it comes to shorts. YouTube shorts can go up to 60 seconds long, so make every frame and every second of that video count. Make it really epic and outstanding because the longest you can do a short is 60 seconds long. It should be easier to do than a 7 minute long video. And here's how you edit really good shorts in Kind Master. Okay, first open Kind Master, of course. We're gonna click create new project and Kind Master looks a little bit different. That's because it was updated. Now here's the thing. Instead of 16 to 9, click 9 to 16. Then click next. Then click media. Then click all. Since these short clips are in order, you can mark all of them. Then click check mark. For example, this is the first clip on the timeline. You can zoom in with your fingers to make more specific editing. And then click trim split where the first part should begin. In this case, we're going to trim it to the left of the playhead. Now we only have this part. Obviously, do the same thing where the parts are supposed to end. Now click trim to the right of the playhead. And that's why it's important to record each action separately. Right now, it only cut the part to the right, but it didn't touch the next clip. Now you do the same with the next clip. In this case, my dad is looking at the papers. Now it goes from me giving the paper to my dad reading the paper. And now cut where the action is supposed to end. And as you can see over here, my dad being mad at the paper is actually too long. So people at this point might lose interest. So I recorded myself running outside the door, right? So now what we're gonna do is click layer, click media, now we're going to find the clip where I bounce from the house. Now of course you can resize it. Now the good thing is you can make it larger than it was and it'll still fit in the frame, you see? So now we don't want me to be noisy and all. We're going to take the audio from the layer clip. Click mixer, then click mute or reduce the volume to zero. Then click check mark. Now then click the layer clip again. Click trim split, split at playhead, go a little bit further, click split at playhead again and then delete the small section. Just click the garbage can on the left. So as you can see, while my dad is getting mad and reading the paper, I'm already trying to escape the house. Then it resumes to my dad again, and then me again. So the audience is consistently engaged. Now, if you want to put some clip between these clips, we want to make some meme, for example. Then move the line in the timeline where the plus is. Click media. For example, we want this picture. And then click check mark. If you want to resize this, the only way to do it is pen and zoom since it's the first layer. But there's another way to do this. So highlight the clip, click the three dots on the left, and click duplicate as layer. So now we have two of them. One of them is the main clip and the second layer. We click the layer clip. Now you can actually resize it and it'll still fit in the frame. See like this. Now you can, for example, add text. We're gonna do it from the layer. We're gonna say one minute later. Click check mark. Now you can change the font. Now, for example, we wanna make it yellow and then resize it. Now you can actually record your voice and say one minute later. Now we have the voice recording on the bottom and we can add many voice effects, like for example, chipmunk. So I click voice changer. You have chipmunk, robot, monster, and a lot of different voice effects. We're gonna use chipmunk. What? Now when you play it, it sounds funny. One minute later. Then of course cut all these clips where the parts are supposed to end. And that's how you pretty much do it. And that's it, if you're 100% sure the clip is ready, keep in mind the short has to be 60 seconds long or less. You click the export button on the right, increase it to high quality. Obviously you should record in high quality first, then do 60 frames a second. Especially if you recorded it at 60 frames a second. And then click export. We're gonna wait for the export to finish. Now that the export is done, go to the regular YouTube app, 
click the plus sign, click upload video obviously, so select the video. That before I give you this, you can pause it, click next, and then write the title. But whatever your title is gonna be, after you write your title, put hashtag shorts. Because it's an extra signal for YouTube to know that this belongs in shorts. Then click next. Of course, you can fill up the description and etc. I'm not going to do it now, but it's just an example. And then you have to mark if the video is for kids or not. Then click upload. And now the video is uploading. You can actually close this app and then open the YT Studio app. When you refresh it, it says the video is processing. You can also put a custom thumbnail on it if you want. So select the video and then click this pencil. Now click the pencil where the thumbnail is. Then you can take the screenshot of this or do a custom thumbnail. Obviously the channel has to be verified for custom thumbnails. So this is all the pictures and here you go. And that was my thumbnail for that video. So you click select and then save. And of course when you release a video, don't forget to make it public. And that's it. If you like this video, you absolutely destroy the like button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me a lot. Thank you. And here's the movie lines. You know what? Scratch that. These lines are said by a popular Minecraft YouTuber. The only thing that works in this world is that you treat others as they treat you, all right? Those that have treated me with kindness, I'll repay that kindness tenfold. Whoever guesses the channel name first and correctly will get a shout out in the next video. Also, if you want other Kind Master tutorials, so check this playlist. I have a lot of them in there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!